Hello everyone, my name is Jashan Reddy. I am pursuing Bachelor of Engineering in Electronics and Communication Engineering at RMK College of Engineering and Technology at Chennai. Today, I am going to speak something interesting about artificial organs. I am assuming that you are having not much knowledge on this. Let's learn something new today. So, let's see what an artificial organ is. An artificial organ is a device that is implanted or integrated into a human body to replace a natural organ or restoring a specific function so that patient may return to as normal as a life possible. Let's understand this. An artificial organ, it's just an organ made up of some maybe electronic and some materials artificially to replace the uh, almost exactly same function how an organ acts in our body okay let's see what why these are artificial organs were needed let's see the use cases use cases come on life support to prevent imminent death while awaiting a transplant example artificial heart while uh, if you are met with any accident or something or due to any a disease a part of us uh, might get failed in that cases in urgency we're not we cannot wait for the transplant and donor of that organ someone immediately it should be replaced in that cases this artificial organs will be used very much immediately the artificial organ which was made by scientists and engineers will be replaced in your body and make you alive to give uh, gives you a life again dramatic improvement of patient's ability for self care it's using artificial limbs for joint movements and everything who are not uh, having uh, legs for those they provide artificial joints legs hands what not many things uh, thirdly improvement of patient's ability to interact socially it, this artificial organs does not have uh, the same uh, functionality but you can socially interact with them you can touch if you're having some artificial hands you can touch them you can feel the senses and everything cosmetic restoration after cancer surgery or accident sometimes due to uh, an accident or a burning or something uh, our skin might get burned and something may happen to our beautiful skin wow what to do now do i need to look uh, ugly i want to look wow awesome in that cases artificial skin is replaced in this place in these uh, cases these are the only some cases of use of using artificial organ there are many such cases where you can use artificial organs okay let's see when it all started wow that's 1885 since then artificial organs were growing on developed developed by many scientists engineers why not wow let's see first in 1885 mv m von frey and M. Grubber Leipzig built using the first artificial heart lung apparatus for organ perfusion studies. Organ perfusion is nothing but the study of blood flow in our body. That is organ perfusion studies. To study that blood flow, these two scientists, M. Von Frey and M. Grubber, has built the first artificial heart lung apparatus. 1925, G. Haas from Germany performs the first clinical hemodialysis of five patients using a modification of Hopkins artificial kidney. Hop Hopkins have made a artificial kidney and uh, G. Haas has done some modification to perform his first clinical hemodialysis. The hemodialysis means a person if is having any failure in kidney 
is this hemodialysis uh, filters the blood and make the patients a uh, person alive have good blood in them after in later 1939 w thal hamer new from new york performs the first hemodialysis of a dog using a cellophane membrane and heparin anticoagulation wow artificial organs but not only for humans they are not only meant for humans they are meant for any living being okay like that uh, w thal talmai has done this artificial organ to a dog it deserves life and all development leads to the these things have led to the development in the 21st century inventions modern modern artificial organs used in our body present and this it is all will lead to the developments in future wow let's see here it is artificial heart a heart, uh, artificial heart is a prosthetic device that is implanted into the body to replace the function of original biological heart. It is distinct from a cardiac pump, which is external device used to provide the functions of the, both the heart and the lungs. Thus, the cardiac pump needs to be not to be connected to the both blood circuits. The first artificial heart was made by Soviet scientist. Vladimir Demikov in 1937. It is it was implanted in a dog. Wow, that's good. Cardiac pump. Cardiac pump is actually a device uh, which is uh, connected to the body from outer side to purify our blood uh, for the for, uh, patients who are uh, having heart problems. And this artificial heart has replaced the functionality of that cardiac pump by directly in, uh, inserting a artificial pump into the patient's body so that uh, no connections or no circuits nothing can be he need he don't he don't need to carry any um, auto machine to be alive directly implanted into his body that's great let's see the next artificial organ what it is wow it is artificial lad liver assistive device in this this is replaced uh, when liver uh, loses its functionality artificial extracorporeal liver support is a detoxification treatment for liver failure patients and is based on the same principles of hemodialysis the main aim is to mimic the first primary functions of liver such as detoxification synthesis and regulation the liver support system is designed in such a way that it can able to remove the lipophilic means lipophilic means the uh, uh, materials which are not uh, uh, soluble, soluble in water in our body albuminum bond substances such as bilirubin bile acids metabolites of aromatic amino acids medium chain fatty acids and cytokines the liver function includes the breakdown synthesis modification storage and regulate the release of carbohydrates lipids amino acids proteins and nucleic acids it produces bile and delivers to the intestine for digestion and excrete of wishes so this almost almost with a very high efficiency it was replacing the functionality of a liver this can save many people who are having liver uh, related diseases wow that's great let's see what it is artificial skin wow as i said when a person meets uh, in uh, with some accident related to fire accident or, or if he is having any uh, skin cancer or something uh, after his recovery this artificial skin can be uh, applied on him and it has almost all the qualities of what a real skin will have artificial skin is a synthetic covering with with two layers of regeneration of skin is used to 
treat burn victims. The material contains microcapsules filled with a special healing agent like human skin. It bleeds and heals itself, offering a potential breakthrough in vital materials used in surgical implants. That's great. It can sense the human uh, touch or some uh, some all kinds of senses. It can almost sense any type of senses as similar to our human original skin. They we can see there are layers of uh, some micro capsules and electrodes which acts as the same as nerves which uh, receives the pulse or a uh, pulse is nothing but an electric pulse when the touch when you touch anyone that sense is connected uh, converted into an electric pulse and the nerve really uh, receives that pulse and it will send to the brain and it says someone is touching you in the same way electronic skin electronic skin when you someone applies some ex external pressure on it then there will be change in the uh, position of the particles uh, atoms so it will generate some kind of electricity and that will be passed to our nerves and brain that's very good let's see another one artificial blood vessels Reaches, researchers have engineered artificial blood vessels that can be used whenever people undergo any heart surgery but the main official main disadvantage of this replacing of artificial blood vessels is that they do not grow with the growth of the person due to this disadvantage the person needs to undergo undergo few surgeries to replace those artificial blood vessels whenever a kid was uh, have any heart problems or something he uh, the doctors will uh, do some heart surgery and they will replace some blood vessels uh, in the olden days those blood vessels will be very good uh, at as the same uh, blood vessels but they will not be growing uh, with uh, growth of the boy or girl so he might uh, undergo nearly five to six surgeries uh, in the heart till his death this is very danger going on may uh, doing surgeries for heart this would be dangerous so the scientists and engineers they re-engineer this artificial blood vessels they first place uh, sheep skin cells into a special tube and then pumped nutrients onto fluid around the cells allowing the cells to grow this in this time in this way the artificial blood vessels the modern artificial blood vessels were made which can grow themselves which which will be uh, getting elongated with the age of the kid so in his lifetime he can he, uh, he can only go under only one surgery and rest of the life he can be very happy in this way the artificial organs were helping in each and every part of a person's life if he meets with any a dangerous accident if he loses many important parts or in golden days gold olden days there are no uh, way to give life to the such patients such people who met with an accident but in these days we are having a ultimate uh, powerful artificial organs which can be replaced whenever a person is having uh, met with any accident or something but i think this may be the scenario like in this artificial organ field the scientists were discovering many 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 types of organs which uh, improve its version like efficiency almost uh, acting like the uh, original one in future scientists may achieve the 100 percent efficiency as same as the human organs the scientist may discover each uh, artificial organ for each and every part of the 
human body, then the per, the lives, but there were no deaths of humans because everyone will be getting a artificial organ. If if I was having any kidney problem, I was I will be going to the hospital and getting an artificial kidney. So no death, no death. That would be wow. This improves the quality of the human life to very great extent. The immortality will come to existence, but this is also having a very large will be have uh, will have large impact on human race. The population will be keep on growing, but no deaths. That is not what we want. That is against the universe laws. But let's see how engineers work and scientists work together to give the best to us. Every day they are working. I thank my college, my staff and my all the people who support me to give my best in everything. Thank you and I would thank all the scientists, engineers, doctors and everyone to making our lives better and better every day. And the people who are using it, thank you.